Learning Linux can be hard, and not necessarily because Linux itself is hard, although it can be, but more because there's just a ton of different places where you can go to learn Linux. If you type into Google how to learn Linux, you're going to get a ton of different results, and not all of them are relevant or up-to-date or even all that good. So what I want to do today is talk about five of my favorite places you can go to actually learn how to use and install and all the things that kind of surround Linux, whether it's the command line or whatever. So that's what we're going to do today. But before we jump in, if you'd leave a thumbs up on this video, I'd really appreciate it. It really helped the channel. So the first one is actually the only YouTube channel on the list. And no, it's not mine, although I could have said subscribe to Linux Cast. That would have been an easy plug, but I didn't do that, although you should. And it would have been a good plug. But anyways, the first one is actually Learn Linux TV. Jay over there does a fantastic job. He has almost a thousand videos ranging on a wide range of topics, whether it's home servers and Docker and, you know, installing Linux and a whole bunch of beginners topics, all sorts of stuff. If you go, if you actually scroll through his videos, you can just see one after another of things that you can do on Linux. Now, don't be scared of some of his content because it's not going to be something that you have to watch all of his videos because a lot of his stuff is for more advanced users also people who focus on more enterprisey stuff so there's some of that stuff here too but there's also a lot of beginner stuff that you can come here and see and kind of learn a lot of stuff from him and he does a fantastic job of telling you exactly what you need to know in certain kit courses and if you go to his playlist tab he has playlists up the wazoo and all of these have to deal with how to learn specific things whether it's commands in the command line vim tmux all sorts of stuff full guides to open ssh and all sorts of stuff you can imagine if you can name it on linux jay's probably done a video how to on how to do it so definitely go over there subscribe to his stuff peruse the playlist, see what you need to learn there, because you'll learn a ton. I have, and I'm almost sure that if you polled the Linux community, everyone who's been around for any amount of time has probably at least encountered Jay somewhere online and re watched one of his videos. So very, very good. I'd start there. The next one is also a very general resource, and that's itsfoss.com. Now, they do a news site as well, but you don't have to worry about that. On itsfoss, you'll find all sorts of stuff, including like distro reviews and stuff like that. Not necessarily the most important thing when you're trying to learn, but they also do guides. You can actually scroll down here to guides, and you can see a whole bunch of different, well, guides on how to do certain things on Linux. And all of these are very well written and very easy to follow. So if you want to learn how to do some bash scripting, if you want to learn how to customize i3, all sorts of stuff is here in the guides. Now, I will mark them down a little bit in that they don't do a good job of letting you go past the ones that they advertise. So they have way more guides than just these six, but finding them is kind of hard. So your mileage may vary in terms of actually navigating their website, which isn't very well designed, but everything else about it is very, very good. So I'd definitely check out It's False. They do have a YouTube channel as well, but I don't know about the content on there. I've never actually watched any. So your mileage may vary there as well. The next one is a website called the Linux Handbook. Now, you would think that this is like the only place you should ever need to go. It's it is very good. It has a list of books and courses, but also has a whole bunch of tutorials on how to do things. But I'm listing it in the middle because it's not the most complete thing ever. So you'll see the things like here. If you want to learn Linux command, there's not actually a link here for Linux commands. It's just not there. The bash scripting stuff, there's quite a bit of stuff there. There's stuff here for Docker and all sorts of more advanced stuff. What I'm really listening is for so you can find lists of books and courses that you can find if you want to go beyond what I'm listing here today. Because they do have they have compiled a really good list of books that you can get to, including ebooks, if you don't want to, you know, have a physical book, and they'll tell you all sorts of stuff about Linux. So there's just a ton of different stuff here that you can kind of browse through and this website does a good job of pa passing this stuff out. The tutorial stuff isn't quite as filled out as I'd like it to be. The next one is linuxjourney.com. Now this one does a way better job of actually teaching you stuff. So if you want to learn how Linux works, what Linux is, it has all of this stuff. It teaches you about certain distros and stuff. It will 
give you exercises for everything that it teaches, whether it's actually technical or not. So like none of this stuff here in this part here, here is actually technical at all. It's just teaching you about what Linux is, how, to, how you choose a distribution, and the certain distributions that you can choose from. If you go into something like the command line, you can actually see it will allow you to quiz yourself on what you learned on that specific page. And you can just go through and do these one right after another. It will ask you a question and it'll ask, it'll, you'll determine whether or not you got it right or not. And there, it's very simple. It's not going to lead you through a ton of everything. So it's really easy to get through and very good for new beginners. So that's Linux Journey. The last one on the list is actually the only one that you have to pay for. That is my favorite Linux book. Now, I'm going to get a lot of crap for telling you to go buy a For Dummies book because there's a lot of cruft about this whole series, and I understand uh, they definitely went commercial back in, like, the early 2000s. So, And they were always commercial, but they got, I mean, they came out with some stupid books. We can all admit that the For Dummies things became a meme. That doesn't mean that you can't get value for them. And this one here has eight different for dummies books in there and it takes you from the beginning to end on how to use linux it's very very good i do actually own this one it's in the other room otherwise i'd actually show you but it's really 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 good and you can get the kindle version or the paper paperback version it's just like i said it's a, an astonishingly good book and it's written well it's written for dummies so people like me who when they get into this feel like you don't know nothing and you know you don't know anything about linux and you want to learn i've always found the for dummy for dummies books to be a good place to start now like i said they aren't always going to be the best books ever but this one here is definitely a gem so i highly recommend linux all-in-one for dummies it's a big book so don't be scared away from it but it's still really good if you want an actual book this is where i would start so those are the five main resources that I wanted to share with you guys today. Now, let's just put this out there. I could have done an hour long video on this because there are a ton of resources. My channel, DT, Brody Robertson, all sorts of YouTubers out there could be qualified as good places to start for learning Linux. The best thing you can do is just to get started. As you go along, you'll learn to sort out the cruft and as you learn more, you'll know what's cruft and what's not. That's a hard piece of advice to give because it does require time and effort, but if you at least have a place to kick off from, a place to start, and that's I'm hopefully what that's what I give you guys today, you'll be able to learn more and kind of be able to filter out the fluff easier as you go along. So I hope this helped out. If you're just getting started with Linux or you've been a, a Linux user for a very long time, you can leave comments in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. Leaving a comment or leaving a like or hitting the subscribe button really helps the channel. So if you haven't done any of those things, I would really appreciate it. I, I have some very lofty subscriber and can, you know, uh, goals this year for my channel. So if you could help me out, I'd really appreciate it. You can follow me on Mastodon. That link will be in the video description. I'm on Fostodon at the Linux cast. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash the Linux cast. Uh, you, you can also support me on Kofi or YouTube. Those links will be in the video description. Thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Without you, the channel just would not be anywhere near where it is right now. So thank you so very very much for your support. I truly do appreciate it. If you too want to support me, patreon.com slash linuxcast, or you can head on over to the store, which is available at shop.linuxcast.org. There you find all sorts of awesome merchandise, all the proceeds for which go directly towards helping me make more Linux content for you guys. So thank you so very much for those who have done that. Thanks for those of you who will do that. Thanks everybody for watching. Just thank you. A lot of thank yous, and I'll see you next time.